seem like my life been really changing on me I know some niggas out here hating on me Ay, I see the bitches how they changing on me I know some niggas out here snaking on me Ay, see like my What's the deal? What's the business is? Nah, right, so here's the deal, so I recently went on a trip to Arkansas and I was there for five days and I didn't record a lot going, but I recorded a lot while I was there and a lot coming back. So I wanted to sit here and share a little story and share my little trip with you guys because before I went, I was pissed the hell off. I was fucking angry. I wanted to shoot somebody. I wanted to chitty chitty bang bang, choo choo boom. You know what I'm saying? But then when I went to Arkansas, I found paradise. I found peace. I found a place. I found home. I found love, I found everything that I was yearning for, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> everything that I wanted, you know what I mean? I found beautiful people, you know? Shout out to Daniel, shout out to <clears throat> Julie, shout out to their, their daughter with the beautiful voice. Shout out to Nick and his family and everybody else, his wife, his sisters, his, his, his brother, his mom, his dad, you know, his uncle, his, everybody, his aunt, everybody. Shout out to everybody. Everybody was a lovely people, man. They was beautiful people, man. They were everything that I ever wanted in the family. And they accepted me to the family and I'm excited to say, hey, I'm part of the Swains, you know what I'm saying? I still got my last name though, Marshall, man, you know what I mean? <laughs> but yeah, man, just to to meet people that I've never met before and just to genuinely feel the love and just go to the people's houses, you know what I mean? And eat with them and they cook and they sing and everything else. Like it was a beautiful, 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 beautiful last life. And I just wanted to share this experience with you guys and you know, share the people that I met with the world because they we need more people like this in the world because they didn't know me, I didn't know them, but now I have family and friends for life. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Look at this shit behind me, bro. Look at this shit behind me. This shit is crazy. Crazy as fuck, man. I never thought I'd be doing something like this. Look at this shit. Got the mountains and shit behind me. That shit, wow. I know, bro. It's <laughs> so peaceful back here, man, in these woods. I love it. Back in my home, man. I love this, man. This shit's nice, man. That little girl, no, she cold. Girl, if you don't get your ass now, put some clothes on. Oh, the water's going across? That's crazy. Oh, no. I got you. You ready? Yeah.
<laughs> That's what I'm doing. <laughs> You know? 
only one, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna tell you. Everybody else is fucking you. Here we go. You got to flick your wrist whenever you get to the peak of your throw. <laughs> You're flicking it up. You got to flick it out. <laughs> Rabbit! <laughs> You still got it. Not long after we moved up here, my house got. Aim at the bottom of it. Hey, hit it yet? 
have a. Yeah, I think you're blowing through you're it every time. It. I don't think you're gonna move it. Oh, I thought I wouldn't even. <laughs> move it. Shoot forward. them as fast as you can pull the trigger. <laughs> Boom, baby. Do you have a message for John? <laughs> Don't ever come back! <laughs> Why are you hanging out with me? <laughs> That's what everybody's asking him. <laughs> Baby. Get you down on that path up. You got a message for John? Some hobo dinner. It was amazing. He's, uh, yeah, yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah, he got to try, let's see, bur uh, deer sloppy joes. That was amazing. We call them sloppy does around yeah, here. Sloppy, sloppy does. does. Yeah. <laughs> sloppy does, I like that. And now this is the first time ever he's been, uh, he's about to eat some elk. Damn, hurry up, I'm hungry. This okay. is the, that's the grill, right? Yeah. 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 You'll like the other one better. The other one better? Yeah, you will. Dad, do you like this movie? I like all the movies. It's better than steak, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's better than steak, bro. Thank you. I like the marinade. It was like marinade or just seasoning. Just all seasoning. I did was put cabiners on it. Cabinet Throw it on the grill. Mm -hmm. Your battery's about to die. You do steak. Right, you better, you better, you better <laughs> about to die. You, yeah, you, you better fried. try that fried. Oh, the fried one? Hey, that's a cat head biscuit, too. Oh, oh, oh sorry, those I got a biscuit, too. Those are homemade biscuits, <laughs> homemade <laughs> mashed potatoes, oh, made that with that the vaporated milk. Yeah, we use pet milk. Yeah. Yes, pet milk. You like it better, it's better than you? It's better than steak. <laughs> Way better. Hell yeah, thank you. You bet. I'm good, y'all I'm good. Right, I'm ready. Ready. <laughs>
this real quick. I'm in Arkansas, man. I'm over here living life, doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Look at me, man. Look at this shit. I'm out here in the mountains, man. Living life. I got my partner with me. There you go Nick right there. I got my partner with me. But yeah, man, so look, man, Arkansas, I'm finna move here, man. Fuck everything else. I done found my home. I done found my place, and I know I'm supposed to be here, so we gotta come out here and move. Let's get it. All right, so here's the deal. I wanna move to Arkansas, you know. I came out here with a bunch of stress, a bunch of negativity in my life, and I hated, you know, life. I was at a point where I wanted to kill somebody or kill myself, you know what I'm saying, before I came out here. And I came out here and found land and just seeing the, you know, the, the scenery, you know, how beautiful it is. And you can't, you can't buy paradise like this, you know what I'm saying? And right now you can actually, because I got land right now and I want to get it, you know? I really want to get it, like, no matter what I've been through and everything else, you know, coming out here was the best thing I could have done. Coming out here and meet Nick was the best thing I could have done in the world because it just makes sense, it's perfect sense, you know? I need to be out here doing something and living my life the way I want to live it. So that's why I'm here, you know? I, need, I needed a peace of mind, I needed to let everything go, so I gotta let it go. But uh, I think my camera's finna stop, I don't know. So we're back. I'm in Arkansas, man, I'm living life. I'm living, I found peace, guys, I found peace, I found Happiness, I found a place, I found a purpose in life again, you know. I found what I was supposed to find. I came out here for a reason and I'm glad I came out here. If I wouldn't have came out here, I would still would have been probably in jail right now. I'd have been either dead in jail or I'd been a murderer or something. My kids would hate me and a lot of things would go on and it'd be stupid right now. So I'm glad I didn't. I'm glad I didn't give up. I'm glad I didn't let go. I'm glad Nick told me to come out here because if I wouldn't have came out here, like I said, I wouldn't be able to find paradise, but don't ever let nobody sit there, man, and do stuff to you, man. And don't let your family drag you down. You know, my family tried to drag me down and drag me down and drag me down. And you ask them, it's my fault. You know, if you ask them, it's my fault. I did it. It was all me. It's the way I talked to them and everything else. But I'm not trying to just be talking to people crazy, you know. I'm actually trying to... Look at this shit. Sorry. I'm not talking to people crazy. I'm actually trying to, you know, help people, man, and benefit people and shit, man. You know what I'm saying? And that's not cool. Look at that shit. Sorry. And it's not cool, man, to sit there and people don't want to listen. People don't want to hear you out because they got problems in their life, so they want you to sit there and be like them, too. That's not cool. I came out here and I found something. I found paradise. I found 66 acres with a fucking, with a cliffside so goddamn beautiful. You wouldn't even believe it. I'm going to show you pictures of it. I actually got off and walked the land, and I'm going to show you some pictures of it, so you'll see. You see that shit, man, that shit's crazy. Like, it's just beautiful, you know what I'm saying? Off the cliffside, I'm all the trees at the top, I'm gonna cut down and everything else so you'll have a better freak of view if the land is still here. By the time that shit happens for me, that's supposed to happen for me, which is soon. So, you know, I'm ready, you know what I mean? I'm ready for it. I wanna really move to Arkansas. I wanna really make a change in my life and really do what I'm supposed to do. I think you can see water spots on the screen, I'm not sure. But I'm here, man. Like I said, don't let nobody let, let you don't let nobody control your life. Don't let nobody control your destiny. Don't let nobody sit there and put you into any position that you know you're not supposed to be in. If you have an opportunity to take and you feel good about it, take it. I felt good about this whole trip. Did I know Nick? No, I didn't know Nick. Did Nick know me? No. Did his family know me? No. Oh yeah, shit, I'm finna show you some footage too, man. When I was shooting them guns, nigga, I shot a clay. First time, first time with a shotgun, first time shooting a shotgun, first time they threw a clay up. Threw that bitch up, bah, hit that hole. Second one, threw that bitch up. Bah, powdered that motherfucker. Yeah, I powdered that motherfucker. <laughs> if you don't know what powder it is, you're gonna have to step your goddamn game up. But yeah, man, 
I had a great feeling about this shit, man. His family didn't know me. His sisters, nobody knew me. And they treated me like a goddamn brother. They called me family just like that. Is it scary? Kind of, because they're all white and shit. You know, everybody's from Arkansas. And it's kind of crazy and shit. But it's cool because they're a fucking amazing family. To be out there shooting guns with everybody and shit, man. And be out there having fun with people. Everybody just having fun. They show me what it is to be a family. They show me what it takes to be a family. They show me what family is really for. And that shit is fucking amazing, man. That's that's what the family I want. That's they they welcomed me into the family like, bro, come on, look at Nick. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. He been searching for some shit for a minute. You can't see him. Oh yeah, you can. He can see us out. You see him walk out? But like Sasquatch on people with a black dick, that's Sasquatch. <laughs> but nah, man. You know what I mean? I, I didn't have a bad feeling about coming out here and seeing Nick. I didn't have any bad vibes or nothing. And I've been out here, for, I was supposed to come out here for two days. I've been here for five days. Living with him and his family. And his, not living with him, but staying with him. And his family's fucking kids is awesome. His wife is goddamn awesome, man. She's a beautiful fucking person. She, they're perfect together, even though there's no such thing as perfect. And they went through a lot of shit, but they made it. She holds him down and he holds her down and they're fucking perfect for each other. And that's what I want. That's the life that I want. That's the, that's the family that I want. You know what I mean? I want a family like this. And I, I want a wife like this. I think I'm going to meet a wife in Arkansas, y'all. I'm going to find me a wife in Arkansas. It's beautiful. It's, it's a lot of white women, a lot of Spanish women. So I'm going to have to pick and choose between white and Spanish. Which, you know, I've been on the Spanish game for a minute, you know, right now. Uh, I mean, by in my, my ex, my last ex, you know, half white, half Spanish. So, you know what I'm saying? I might just go ahead and leap over to the white. Who knows? You know what I'm saying? I'm going to find my wife out here, though. You know what I mean? Me and Nick, we got so many freaking ideas and shit just clicks. He's, he's, he's different. I'm different. It's like Bloods and Crips, but we came to fucking together just... And mashed like motherfucking mashed potatoes and gravy, you know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just crazy. Like he's a Trump supporter and everything, and I fucking hated Trump and shit like that. And said, "Hey, you didn't really like, damn nigga, you don't hate Trump no more." You know, so I don't fuck with Trump like that. You know what I'm saying? Still, don't tell nobody. You know what I'm saying I don't fuck with Trump like that. Still, but now nah, I'm playing. But you know what I'm saying? But uh, I don't know. That's that's politics. This ain't politics channel. But yeah, I'm just saying. He, you know, he he's totally different than I am, and we're able to sit there and we're able to come together as one man. We're able to fucking bounce ideals off each other we're able to fucking sit there and just do shit that a lot of people can't do you know what i'm saying like he's totally from a whole different area than i am you know what i'm saying arkansas i'm from texas bro i don't know nothing about these woods and mountains and creeks and shit like this he's taking me so many freaking beautiful places i got so much footage i'm not gonna put them all in just this one video but you know, the whole purpose of this trip was to come out here and find myself, and I found myself. It was to come out here and find that land. It was to come out here and walk that land. Coronavirus going on right now. Ain't nobody finna try to buy this land. Ain't nobody worried about land right now, but I am. You know what I'm saying? I gotta be smart. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, to be out here in these mountains like this, bro, like, this is paradise, man. Paradise. My mind is so freaking clear that I'm ready to go back to Texas and get back to motherfucking doing my goddamn, um, Go back to Texas and do my um, what you call it? Reactions and shit. That's a long. I ain't been doing reactions. Nigga, don't forget what I was doing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah, get back to Texas, man, and do my reactions and motherfucking get back to it because it's time. It's time for me to get back to it and get this shit right and get these t-shirts right. You know, I got all the, I got the t-shirts. I got everything I need right now. I just don't have the website to start selling them. But I'm gonna have y'all hit me up. Uh, I'm gonna have y'all hit me up on my. DM me, man. DM me on Facebook, all that shit, and uh, IG and everything for t-shirts, and we can get them sent to you, man. But this shit, it's time to go. Time to end this. I'm probably going to drop this video today. And shit, you want to say anything before I end the video? What up, Twigga Squad? What up, Twigga Squad? Shit, all right, man. We going to shout out. What's up with it? Oh, shit. Is that the view I was at yesterday? Look at shit. I don't know if y'all saw that, but yeah. So, hey, what the business is, man? If we out in Oklahoma, I'm at the top of these mountains. I ain't got no service right now, so. Damn, that shit's nice. Hold on. I gotta get a picture of that. I'm sorry. I gotta stop. Hold the fuck up. I gotta stop and get a picture of that. I gotta back up. Hold the fuck up. Anyways, hold on. Look at this shit. 
look at this paradise. Man, you can't tell me this ain't nice. on that paradise look i had to give me another one man you see this shit behind me come on man i had to stop again i'm gonna stop i'm gonna try to stop stopping you know what i'm saying but i can't not stop look at this shit you can't tell me this ain't nice man come on bro this is beautiful this is paradise this is home for me i want this shit man and then look right across the street got number woods man you wouldn't you wouldn't even know you know what i'm saying i want this shit i love it i'm getting it it's mine all mine i'm mine all right, so we back on the road. I had to stop, had to get that paradise, you know what I mean? I had to make sure that I picture this because, you know what I mean, anything can happen. But hey, that was a beautiful view to have these goddamn mountains right here right now. You know what I'm saying? I have these mountains here right now. But look, man. I'm happy, y'all. I'm happy. I'm excited. I'm ecstatic. I'm, I'm at all with myself. I'm at... I'm in a beautiful spot, I'm in a beautiful place, and I love it. I love it, you know what I mean? <coughs> Thank you again, Nick, like I said, bro. That shit's beautiful. <coughs> Thank you again, like I said, Nick, for allowing me to come out here. What the fuck is that? What the hell was that noise? I heard that little thing. <laughs> was it my camera or something? Nah, my camera up, that shit's weird. But anyways, thank you again for allowing me to come out here and find myself and find my place and find my purpose again, bro, because I couldn't ask for nothing more. You know what I mean? I couldn't ask for anything better than what I came. I could ask for a better experience than I had. Nothing else could have made it better, bro. You know what I'm saying? It was the best experience that I had, and I'm glad I made it. I'm glad I came out here. I'm gonna keep saying that because it's beautiful. Here's the deal, man. I'm in Arkansas. I'm loving life right now, you know what I mean? I really don't wanna go back to Texas, but I gotta go back to Texas. But look at this shit right here. Look at that water. Hey, watch. I'm gonna turn the camera around real quick. Oh, I can't do it while I already did it this way. So leave this shit though. And then leave this shit behind me. Who wouldn't want to move to Arkansas? You know what I'm saying? Who wouldn't want this paradise? Nigga, the creek water is goddamn clear. You can't get that in Texas. So, yeah, I'm coming to Arkansas, baby. I done found my home. My dad's from my dad's from Little Rock, Arkansas anyway. So, shit, I done found my home, man. We good. We good.